HP ANC is a blood test that tells you about the average level of blood glucose in the past two to three months. So that in short, it tells you about how good was your blood sugar level in the last two to three months. Higher the number, greater are the complications. So it can lead to either microvascular complications, namely the blood, small blood vessels in your organs get affected. It can affect your kidneys, causing nephropathy. It can affect the nerves of your feet, causing peripheral neuropathy. And it can affect your small blood vessels in the retina, causing retinopathy, leading to blindness. Uncontrolled diabetes, that is HbA1c greater than 7, can lead to macrovascular complications that can that can lead you to get uh, make you get heart attack more prone for getting brain strokes and it can also involve the blood vessels of your feet causing peripheral vascular disease the american diabetes association recommends a hba1c level of less than 7% based on various research studies so lesser than number that is less than 7% can keep you free of all these complications and a larger study in this regard namely the DCCT diabetes control and complication trial which was done in the year between 82 and 93 tells that even one person drop in HbA1c can you make can make you less less of 45 percent of all complications So the question is, you cannot get, uh, get diabetes if, or, if you are a non-vegetarian, right? So no, it is not, uh, it's not true, it's a myth. So it's basically about uh, your genetic predisposition and your sedentary lifestyle and your uh, faulty food habits and obesity that causes diabetes. Coming to food habits, whether it is vegetarian versus non-vegetarian, vegetarians usually, uh, they cont- the vegetarian food contains lot of fibers, minerals and uh, uh, micronutrients that makes it is a better food. There are some studies actually which claim that uh, vegetarian or less have a less chance of getting diabetes and their complications. But it is not that food that matters. It can be either vegetarian or not vegetarian. A vegetarian food means you have to have a whole grains instead of the refined flour and you cannot have white sugars and you have to eat a lot of uh, fruits and a lot of vegetables to make it a healthy diet. Coming to non-vegetarian food, non-vegetarian food is also good. American Diabetes Association recommends once or twice uh, per week consumption of meat or chicken. Chicken has to be taken without skin and fish is good. You can take eggs, preferably the white of the egg. And when you are cooking the food, it is uh, better you avoid frying. Fish, you can do it either boiling or steaming. That is good. So vegetarian and non-vegetarian, it does not matter. It is the carbohydrate count that matters. According to the recommendation, the carbohydrate has to be 50%. Protein has can be about 15 to 20% and fat can be about 20 to 30% in your diet. That's all matters. So vegetarian and non-vegetarian does not matter. It is about the food that you consume, the carbohydrate that you consume and the, in what way you consume it and the physical activity that you do. Everything matters to make your diabetes.